All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakaha Kodash. Double honors unto the apostles and the elders of the great millstone that will will. Peace, blessings, salutations to all you brothers doing this work in truth, sincerity, and always in charity, as well as uh, the sincere sisters. All right, and uh, you know, the believers, the men, women, and children that are uh, listening and learning. Shalom. This is Brother Malakiv from the Great Millstone Camp to branch out in Des Moines. And uh, you know, this this uh, this lesson is uh, is gonna be more geared towards uh, uh, sisters, man. You know, because uh, I'm just thinking uh, thinking about different things in my head, man. And uh, I'm gonna start off with this precept right here. This is the Book of Saint Luke, chapter 17. All right, this is a, a admonition. Luke chapter 17, verse 32. Remember Lot's wife. All right? Plain and simple. Remember Lot's wife. And we can read about what happened uh, to Lot's wife, man. So let's get it. This is the book of Genesis. lucky i am in transit bear with me this is uh genesis chapter 19 and verse uh, verse 24 i'll just start at 24 you know when you read the totality of the story the lord had sent angels unto uh unto lot right well really he put angels in the city and Lot defended these angels and had them, uh, you know, uh, was protecting them. He was standing up for them, you know. And you had these sodomites coming up trying to to rape the angels. And Lot, in his integrity, you know, he he, he even said, "Hey, you know, they deal with my daughters, you know, but don't touch these men." Which really, they were angels again. And you know, the uh, uh, what ended up happening was the Lord was gonna well, grant his salvation unto Lot, right? And unto his household, except, except his wife. His wife. Okay? So let's read it. It says, right, because he 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 uh, uh he was delivered with his two daughters. But it says, man, 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 man. Verse 23, uh verse 24, it says, then the Lord Yahweh raid upon Sodom and Gomorrah brimstone and fire from Yahweh out of heaven and what's coming what's coming now is that what that thermonuclear fire it says that the first world uh was, was you know was destroyed by the flood but the second is reserved unto judgment by fire verse 25 and he overthrew those cities and all the plain and all the inhabitants of those cities and that which grew upon the ground but his wife looked back from behind him and she became a pillar of salt. And the Lord gave a clear command to not look back unto the city. Right? The Lord said, hey, hey go leave the city. I'm going to destroy it. Do not look back. And that's the same thing today, you know, through the spirit. Right? Is that, hey, we, 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 we've departed from this place spiritually. Right? It says, uh, arise ye and depart. For this is not your rest. Is polluted and shall destroy you with the sword of destruction. You know, so we understand uh, 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 what that that we have nothing here for us. We understand that we're not going to be here forever. That this isn't the end all be all. That what that there remaineth yet a rest for the people of Yahweh Shami Yahweh Shai. And so we're not looking back on this place. We're not looking to build here and to stay here and to grow and this, that, and the third, because all that is worldly. That is of the world. But our mind is in the heavens, right? Our mind is in the heavens. Store up your treasures in heaven where neither moth nor rust doth corrupt. But this woman here, Lot's wife, hey, she looked back. You know, looked back. She had, because what? They had substance. She was probably, she, you know, comfortable. So on and so forth. Well, it's the same thing. And it's an admonition because what? Because a lot of times you can think, you can think, you know, a because the scripture. I'm, I'm gonna grab the scripture, right? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just grab the scripture. Uh, 
<clears throat> mm. Yep, the two two perfect ones. Acts chapter eleven and verse fourteen. It says, "Who shall tell the words whereby thou and all thy house shall be saved?" Now oh, this is the one I wanted, really. Verse thirty-one. I don't like that it does this. Verse thirty-one. Let me go down. Uh, verse thirty. Acts sixteen and thirty. It says, and brought them out and says, "Sirs." What must I do to be saved? And they said, Believe on the Lord Yahweh Shah Hamashiach, and thou shalt be saved, and thy house. And like I said, this is an admonition for sisters because what we understand that yes, the Lord can have mercy. If you're if you are with the man of the Lord, you know, which really is what, what I was thinking of. Yes, you hope. You hope and you believe because hey, the scriptures say that the Lord can have mercy upon our households, you know, and to those women that don't have a man that are in the faith. Well, hey, uh, you keep your faith and integrity and you same thing. You walk accordingly. You don't look back into this place. And, hey, and when you start looking back at this place, you start doing the things of the world. You start going off. Disrespecting uh, 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 your, your husband. Not being shamefaced, it says a shameless woman shall be accounted as a dog. And you already know another word for a female dog. The Lord is not dealing with that disrespect. The Lord is not dealing with us being out of order. All right? So we hope and we pray, you know, that, hey, you know, uh, for example, me, you know, based off my works, that my household will be saved. And I believe that, you know, uh, uh, you know, my, my, my child, I believe that they will be saved through the work that I'm doing, through my faith. Uh, you know, you know, Lord willing. But at the same time, it's not promised. Nothing is promised. Or, uh, you know, and when I say nothing is promised is the salvation of others is not promised. That's why it says what? It says, uh, so like, let me park. Uh, Philippians 2 and 12, wherefore my beloved, as ye have always obeyed, not in my presence only, but now much more in my absence, work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. Work out your own salvation. It is you and your relationship with Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai that is going to lead to your salvation. It says that a woman shall be sa shall be uh, uh, saved in childbearing if she keep the faith, if she remain in faith. So you can't be with your husband, with your man, walking out of order, expecting to be delivered, because the Lord would judge you, just like He judged Lot's wife. You speaking all, all, all kind of wickedness and madness against against this man, which, you know, we're, we're, we're not, uh, nobody's perfect. We're not perfect. We're not in the kingdom. But nevertheless, you suffer certain things. Hey, it says it says, uh, 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 you know, lo lo love is patient. Love is meek. Uh, uh, love endureth all things. You know, roughly uh, paraphrasing. I might be a uh, 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 twisting too. But it tells you of all these things and how you should conduct yourself. Yeah, we're royalty. Yeah, we're holy, this, that, and the third. But we need to conduct ourselves as such. We cannot be like these people in the world. You speak against this man. You have a, a bad thoughts uh, against this man. Hey, you better pray to the Lord, man. You better pray and fast to the Lord before the Lord destroy you. Look at what the Lord did to Miriam. And all and what she did was what? She, uh, 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 hey, she, she spoke against Moses. I'm going to grab the account. I'm going to grab the account. Numbers chapter 12 and verse 1. And Miriam and Aaron spake against Moses. Why? Because of the Ethiopian woman whom he had married. For he had married an Ethiopian woman. So it was simply because he went and dealt with a woman of another nation. 
How much more when you're getting on this man, uh, 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 accusing him of all kinds of uh, uh, things and, and whatever, you know? Which again, I'm, I'm, hey, I'm not saying, you know, brothers got 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 to deal with their woman accordingly too. Hey, the scriptures say that what that that uh, uh, husbands love your wives as Yahweh Shai loved the church. Hey, but you got to remember, Yahweh Shai, he showed love to the church, but what he was still an austere man. He rebuked certain certain uh, uh, people, so on and so forth. And it was all done out of love. But here you have it. She was out of order. Speaking against that man. More importantly, a man of the Lord. A man that was working, laboring, believing in the Lord. A man with faults, you know. Yet chosen, a chosen vessel. It says, and they said, had the Lord of these spoken only by Moses, hath he not spoken also by us? And the Lord heard it. The Lord heard it. There's a scripture that says, uh, uh, you know, uh, it's something along the lines of like, murmur not against the king for, for the Lord will hear it. Well, what does it say about the Lord's little ones, man? It, it says that it's better that a millstone be wrapped around their neck and they be tossed in the damn river, in the damn ocean. Than the judgment that Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah is going to bring to these people, man. We got to quit. Being out here walking like we exempt. Like nothing can touch us. Just because you're around brothers, just because your, your man is a husband of the Lord, just because you know the Lord's name, does not mean you will be saved. The Lord requires that we walk according to his word. That we walk humbly. That we keep his commandments, that we keep his ways. It says that he that believeth on the Lord uh, uh, must also walk as he walked. The Lord wasn't out of order. Yes, it's hard sometimes. Yes, we're going to slip up. But what? You get back up and you fix it. I'm going to jump down. <clears> hmm. <throat> Verse 8, it says, With him, speaking about Moses, will I speak mouth to mouth, even apparently and not in dark speeches, and the similitude of the Lord Yahweh shall he behold. Wherefore then were ye not afraid to speak against my servant Moses? Right. So you weren't afraid to speak against my servant? Because, hey, and this was Moses' sister. So, you know, she was probably all uh, 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 comfortable with talking to him and this, that, and the third. You know, we cannot be like that. You cannot be like that with your man. We, uh, uh, us brothers, cannot be like that with other brothers. Hey, and, and the Lord calls us his woman. So, in the spirit, this applies to us too, man. You know? Everything that's said about the woman is also applied to us because we are the Lord's woman. You know, that's something to meditate and think about. But it says, you know, for you brothers, it says... And the anger of the Lord was kindled among, uh, against them, and he departed. Right, so the Lord was angry, and he scooted off on them. It says, and the cloud departed from off the tabernacle, and behold, Miriam became leprous, white as snow. And Aaron looked upon Miriam, and behold, she was leprous. And it caused this a sin, right? It, it says that we have sinned. So the Lord judged her as, man. And then she got put out of the camp. And what does it say down here? <clears throat> verse 14 uh, Verse 13 And Moses cried unto the Lord saying Heal her now, O my power, I beseech thee So she she had to ask for forgiveness, right? Aaron asked for forgiveness, you know And Moses had to inquire of the Lord So that she could be healed Don't play with that, man don't, don't, don't. It says, and the Lord said unto Moses If her father had but spit in her face should she not be ashamed even seven days? Let her be shut out from the camp seven days. And after that, she could be received again. So that was a shame. Showing you how much of a shame that is, man. Just that she spoke against him. So just because we, 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 we oh yeah, I know brothers in Great Millstone. And oh yeah, I'm, I, even, I'm in the camp, bro. Oh, my husband, my husband, he goes and he camps every weekend and he studies and he does lessons. That does not mean your ass is going to be saved. So you should fear and you should conduct yourself accordingly and you should pray unto the Lord and you should ask for your man to pray unto the Lord for you and you should fast. 
All these things that the Lord require of us, man. Just like we all, hey, all of us, brothers, sisters, all of us, we all have to conquer the flesh. Sirach so chapter 27 and verse 5, the furnace proveth the potter's vessels, so the trial of man is in his reasonings. And it's the same thing with a woman, how you reason with things. Because, yeah, you might think this, but then you got to be like, man, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm going off. This is my husband. This is my man. I, I can't be speaking against him. I can't be doing, uh, uh, you know, disrespecting him and this and that. And the, just like us, again, just like us can't disrespect the Lord and talk any which way against the Lord in public disrespecting the Lord man that's why the Lord took his name off us man because we was acting like fucking niggas and the Lord was ashamed you think the Lord was cool with that because what because we represent the Lord here on earth his people Israel right we had his name we were called Israel and so when we when 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 we were out there just committing uh, all kinds of wickedness, putting the Lord's name to shame, He took His name off us. He cast us away. He cast us out, man. So it's the same thing. Uh, you know, women. You know, sisters. You represent a, a, a you know you you are out there representing the household of uh, 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 of your husbands. And for those sisters that don't have a man, you are out there uh, representing the Lord. You a woman of the Lord? You 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 in a, uh, you you believe? You hope you an elect lady? Then conduct yourself as such. Right? Conduct yourself as such. Just because you pray here and there, just because you you believe and you know, oh yeah, that's the Lord's name, and we Israelites, shalom, brother. That's not gonna guarantee you your salvation. All right. So with that. All praise to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Shah, Bashem, Rechak, Wadash, Shalom.